people that were just up on stage. So if, uh, if you're wondering why, 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 if you're wondering why, this one day you wake up and you're like, why? For, for no particular reason. But uh, if you're wondering why we have people from the local communities come here, there's a really important and valuable uh, reason for it. For a long time, the indigenous people of this territory were not only attempted to be wiped out or to be moved out of the city, is that after a lot of the uh, projects that went on in Vancouver to remove the indigenous people from the land, the next stage of it was to completely erase any presence of indigenous people from the land or any indigenous place on the land. And so for a long time, indigenous people were not just ignored, but thought of as not existing. So it's not even that we were killed, it's that nobody thought we were alive. Which is a really weird existence. To be alive, but to be invisible on your own territory. To be invisible in your own country. You are all standing in you're not standing in Canada. You're standing in a territory, in a country that has been occupied and lived by a people who have lived here for thousands of years. Yeah. And so imagine what it's like for a people, for nations that have lived in this territory to be thought of as invisible. And then for us to fight for some sort of recognition some sort of acknowledgement even, which seems like such a tiny, tiny step to rectifying the injustice that has really occurred. Yeah. Recognition is one tiny step to that, but it is the right step in a, in a march towards justice. And so often what a lot of groups have started doing, it has happened over the last 20 years and it has become more mainstream in a lot of ways, is that groups, events, conferences, rallies have invited people from the local community to open and welcome all of you to the event, to acknowledge the indigenous people from the territory, to acknowledge the ancestral spirits that live on this land. And so that's why we're really grateful for, you know, the generosity and the kindness of our relatives who have taken their time out of their day on their Saturday to come here to spend some time with us. And we can all express our gratitude for these people to do that. We're very grateful to each and every one that came up on the stage, the people that are standing here from the local communities. We're very grateful to, for them for being here, to acknowledge them, to allow them to have presence, allow the people from this territory to have presence as it should be, as it, uh, it was for the most of the history of this land. It's only in the last 120 years that it's been this way. And that is what we're changing, one step at a time. So the first step is recognition, the second step is liberation. Can you feel me? Awesome, I'm gonna hand it over to Ben.